Morning everybody, ampreparguy.com, 203-892-4119, also harbachelectronics.com, please like, share, and subscribe, I really appreciate it. So we have a TL922A, this was one that I had in that was up for sale, so customer purchased it, sent the payment in, so I'm going to go through it, do everything that needs to be done to it. So I'm go to the customer. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company. So needs a band switch. Needs a filament transformer. This must have had a grid to filament short at some point. Took out the winding. That's why it's really important to have that mod done. The self bias to get rid of the force bias. If you have a grid to filament short, you end up putting a direct short on that winding. So someone tried to ground the grids. Did a crappy job. Looks like this cap over here is damaged, so I will go through it, do everything it needs. Also needs meter lamps, so it's getting LEDs, getting a brand new band switch, the contact, and the padding contacts on the plate side is damaged. That's why uh, the cap's damaged, so I'll probably put it into an open. And it'll get all the modifications, and uh, it's getting new filter caps too. Brand new Harbach board, so let's get this. This one's gonna be a lot of work, so it's gonna take me some time. So I'm gonna get to work, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, so the old transformer's out. Here's the new one. We get back to work. Nice and slow. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back with the completed Kenwood TL922. Customer wants to see it working on 20 meters. So that's what he gets. There are the settings. And the higher voltage setting right now. Radio set to roughly 50 watts or so. Audio hello, hello, hello. 2500 watt slug. Audio hello, audio hello. 1250 right there, 1250. It's on PEP going into a bird attenuator load. Tit, 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 tit. Audio tit, tit, tit. Hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Lower voltage setting. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. See how the power drops. Tit, 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 tit. Audio. 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 Tit, 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 tit. Back on the higher voltage setting. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Works as it should. Okay, so I'll let the tubes cool off and I'll show you the inside. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hey buddy, I'm back with the TL922A. I'm going to show you everything I did. Now, this thing was a lot of work. I think I did more to this one than I've done to any other ever. So, this was one that was resurrected, it was sold completely went through it and it's being sold with a brand new set of tubes these are just my test tubes new set of tubes will be ordered by me and sent to the customer direct from Penta okay so let's get started so brand new Harbach filter cap board kit with Kemet capacitors you have the series glitch resistor you have the meter protection diode added the strap over here Look, part of the low inductance mod it has the stock parasitic suppressors, which are more than ample. I've never seen one fail. When the grids are grounded, they are more than sufficient. I wired it for 240. Meter lamps work fine, so they're going to stay. I thought they were all out. So, anyway, zip tied all the wiring. Zip tied the wiring over here. Plenty of clearance between all the wires. Just attention to detail, just everything has to be perfecto. I do have to go get split washers for the number four screws, and these are metrics. I'm going to get split washers and little washers. I'm going to go to the hardware store. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over and I will show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so I've got a brand new filament transformer. Well, one out of a parts unit. The only reason why these fail is if you have a grid to filament short. So if the self-bias mod has not been done, you have a grid to filament short, you take out that winding. So that's what was shorted on the other one. 
So that's all in there, nice, nice. Added a new electrolytic cap. Zener diode was good. Replaced those ceramic disc caps with mica caps for the 10 meter input circuit portion of the 10 meter mod. Brand new multi tech band switch. It's all nice, nice. Grounded the grids. Did the self bias mod. SO239s were checked and they are good. So that's about it. If you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203 892. 4119, that's 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope everyone has a great day. 73.